Hello folks, Derek Drum here with the Capstone team at Keller Williams. Two names you can trust. I wanted to create a video that explained why it makes sense to buy in a declining market. Now, that's pretty much intuitive. You get more for your money in a declining market, but it also makes sense because you actually save more money compared to buying in a inclining or increasing market. So without further ado, let me show you what I mean. We've created this model. Um, it's broken into two halves. You have your declining to stable market on the left hand side and you have your stable to increasing market on the right hand side. Now, we only need three inputs. The price that your home will sell for or would get listed at potential discount depending upon which way the market is going um, including any foreclosures and short sales in your particular neighborhood that impact the price and what it might actually sell for and then your desired purchase price for your new home okay these three numbers will drive this whole model and show you uh, what will happen in an uh, increasing or stable market and what will happen in a declining to stable market all right so in this model, we chose a value of $350,000 for your property sale. Now, your value is definitely going to be different unless your home is worth $350,000. Um, in all probability, you will uh, have a different value. So don't hesitate to contact us. I'll give you contact information at the end of this video on how to do so. And I can easily pop the numbers into the model, the Excel model and uh, give you your customized numbers. It's no problem and I don't mind doing so. So, purchase, you're going to sell your property at $350,000. Now, um, you may have REOs, uh, bank-owned properties, foreclosures, whatever you want to call them, or short sales happening in your neighborhood, which might decline the values further. Um, typical is 10%. So let's say you were able to sell your property for $315,000. Now, you want to buy, you want to move up, so you want to buy a property that was approximately worth $500,000, but you were able to get the same discount because that property uh, also had foreclosures, uh, bank owns, REOs, whatever, short sales in the neighborhood, and you were able to get it for $450,000. Your increase in your cash outlay would be $135,000, or your financed outlay would be $135,000 approximately. Now, this model is very, very simple. There's uh, cost of sales, closing costs, other things involved, but everything being equal, um, this is the number that you're looking at. All right, so let's do the same thing in an increasing market. So, we list your property for $350,000. Uh, extremely competitive market, uh, uh, we have multiple offers, that type of thing going on. Your home sells for $385,000. You go to buy the same $500,000 home that we were talking about previously. However, you have to pay 10% uh, more to get this property, or $550,000. So your total cash outlay or financed outlay uh, increases to $165,000. So if you were to buy in a declining market, it was $135,000 to move up. If you were to buy in an increasing market, it was $165,000 to move up. Or a difference, a savings of $30,000. So intuitively, yes, you want to buy when the market's down. However, financially, it does make a huge difference as to when you buy and how much you're going to be able to save as well. So, any questions? Don't hesitate to contact us. We can be reached at 510-432-0617 or at thecapstoneteam.com. Again, thecapstoneteam.com. Have a great day, and we look forward to talking to you in the future to meet your real estate needs.